This speed ramping effect you see right here, done in one click with the latest version 3.1 of Camera 3D Toolkit Pro. Honestly, this is the biggest and most game-changing update I've ever released. And stay until the end because I'll show you even more powerful features from this update. The download link is the first one in the description available on A Scripts. Now, let me show you how it works. I place my playhead here, move forward a bit, and slide the slider up. Boom, speed ramping done. I continue, position myself further along, set the slider to 50, even further, add a key like this. Look at the result, the speed ramping is done. Simple as that. And this is where it gets interesting. These easy in and easy out sliders control the animation curve. Watch when I move the easy in. See how the curve changes? If I set both to 100, it becomes smoother. If I lower them, it's more linear. You adjust according to the style you want. You can also change the graph type to value graph if you prefer a different visualization. Now, here's something important. These sliders work for everything, not just speed ramping. Let me show you. I create a layer real quick, make a basic position animation. Normally, to smooth keyframes, you have to select them, hit F9, open the graph editor, adjust, it takes time. With the plugin, I select my layer, click the button, and boom, keyframes are automatically smooth. And then I can adjust the easing in real time with the sliders. You see the curve changing instantly. This is workflow gold. Let's move on to multi-layer animations. I take several shapes, position them all over the place, rotate them. To create a sequential animation, I click match on the first layer. That's the starting point. Then I click target on each layer in the order I want the animation. Okay, the animation is there. But you see those little pauses between each transition? Sometimes you don't want that. That's where the overlap button comes in. I select my null, click on it and look no more pauses. The animation is completely fluid. Transitions flow into each other. And if you want to add depth of field, you have the blur slider right there. You increase it and the layer in the camera's field stays sharp while the others become blurry, just like a real camera. The camera shake has been completely redesigned in this version. Before, the shake applied to the entire timeline. Now, it starts exactly where you place the playhead. I position myself here, select my null, choose smooth circular, and the shake starts from this point, not before. And to stop it, I place my playhead where I want it to end, click on the preset, and done. Another improvement, no more clicking apply. As soon as you select the preset, it applies instantly. To reset, one click on remove and all keyframes are deleted. Now, game changer, opacity based on camera distance. Look at this animation. I have multiple layers, some close to the camera, others far away. But the background layers hurt readability. I can increase the blur, but even at max, there's still stuff blocking the view. The solution? The opacity slider. I select all the layers I want to affect and slide the slider. Watch. The further the layer is from the camera, the more transparent it becomes. Layers close to the camera stay sharp. At 100%, distant layers are completely invisible and the plugin automatically creates animated opacity keyframes. You can combine this with blur for an insane depth effect. Next up, autofocus. You have an animation and you want the focus to follow a specific layer. Here I have my animation. The layer facing the camera is sharp, the others are blurry. Cool. But now, at this exact moment, I want to focus on a different layer. I select it, click autofocus, and the focus has changed without moving the layers. And I can do this at any point in the animation. I can chain them. Here I focus on this one, later on another. You create cinematic focus pulls in just a few clicks. Last section, 
the spacing tools. I have several layers I want to space out properly. Normally, you have to go into alignment tools, calculate. With the plugin, you have center to center the layers, the spacing slider to space layers equally, random to position layers randomly, and random 3D, which transforms layers to 3D and positions them randomly in space. You save a ton of time on placement. Before we wrap up, quick tip. This help button gives you instant access to tutorials. Just click it and you'll be taken directly to my YouTube channel, where you'll find tons of step-by-step -step videos showing you how to use every feature of the plugin. And this is just the beginning. Even crazier updates are coming. Go grab the plugin. The link is in the description, available on A Scripts. If this video helped you, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments which feature is your favorite. See you in the next one.